So it's been a few days since we first saw the new Acura Integra, and boy has the internet said all the things. Everything from the rear end looks like a Genesis to that's just a Civic, or my personal favorite, nice Accord Cross Tour, bro. Look, I'm not here to debate the car's looks with you. While we'd all like to see a two-door coupe with four round headlights, that's just not Acura's design language right now. Sorry. Also, remember the first Integra was a pretty boring looking four-door. Plus, on top of all of that, coupes are dying because you nerds don't buy them. You have nobody to blame but yourselves. And sure, it's on the Civic's platform, but the new Civic is great. And anyway, Acura wanted this car to be affordable, so, you know, people will actually buy it. To that end, it should cost around 30 grand. Had Acura gone and designed something from the ground up, it would cost a boatload more, and then none of you broke fools, that includes myself, could buy it. Even if you don't love the looks, you can't see the outside when you're driving it, and this promises to be a pretty engaging drive. We don't have actual specs, because, you know, concept car, technically, but you'll likely get the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder from the Civic Si, and when that VTEC kicks in, I'd ballpark that you'll see around 200 horsepower. But who knows, maybe Acura will surprise us and add more boost to position this between the Civic Si and the Civic Type R. Wouldn't that be rad? Power goes to the front wheels only through an available six-speed manual transmission, and even better, there is a real mechanical limited slip differential to keep the torque going to the correct wheel, and hopefully also keep you from understeering right off a cliff. Honda, and by extension Acura, is typically pretty good at this stuff, so we're not too worried. If you happen to be local to Southern California, you can come out to the Radwood Show, that great festival of 80s and 90s car nostalgia on November 20th at Hund headquarters in Torrance and see the new Integra for yourself. And then you can blow up Instagram with all of your complaining. But I bet that you may just change your mind when you see it in person. For the rest of you, you're just gonna have to wait until next year to see the new Acura Integra in the metal.